up and welcome back to my channel um as you can see i'm in the car uh your girl is self-isolating yes but we need to get things from the grocery store and you know we're team rise and grind because we're also team broke am i right okay and speaking of your girl has merchandise go ahead and copy some merch i got t-shirts we got mugs totes if you are an introvert there's something there for you i promise um if you do buy something it'll really help a lot because this all this current shit is definitely hitting your girl's pockets okay patreon is also an option if you don't if you're not into retail therapy if you're not into clothing which i don't understand y'all i don't understand people who are like i don't like to shop i mean I guess I can understand if shopping itself is just difficult for you. In that case, I can empathize. But like, who don't like like new shit? You know what I'm saying? So get you some new shit. But if you don't want some new shit and you want some new content, I'm cranking out content all quarantine long, sis. Um, a Charlie's Angels movie review. That is going up soon. Um, all my Instagram lives, I don't, I do not post them for the public after I go live. Instead, I put them on my Patreon, and that is a free perk for our patrons. Is y'all get uh, those live shows and really um, just support all around. I appreciate you if you supported me at all. If you would like to continue to support, I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just trying to do my best here, trying to stay safe because I'm too young to die. I'm not mature enough to die yet. Okay, there's. Like, you know, like when you 78 or when you 89 or something and like you're like dying and all, all you want is to just die peacefully and you want your like friends and family to uh, be happy. You don't want them to be sad. I'm not mature enough for that because I don't like if I was to die at age 28, my priorities would not be in the right areas. For, for instance... Don't get your baby cousin to Photoshop my funeral flyer. I need a lesbian graphic designer to do my funeral flyer. My mama is not going to dress me. No. Okay, she's going to put me in some, some fucking purple lip gloss and some, like, cropped uh, Kings of Comedy pants and a, a damn turtleneck. No. I need, and I want Instagram likes from the fit. The fit needs to be good. OOTD. I don't care if I'm dead. Post it. You know what I'm saying? Like I I want I want likes still. And I know that when you older and you die, you don't be caring about that shit. But I care about that shit now. And so that's how I know it's not my time to die because I just be wanting dumb shit. So yeah, I'm doing what I can. And I hope that you're doing what you can. And uh let's go ahead and get on with the song. One, two, three, hey, ooh, say what say what say what you know that I like you, baby. First story is, um, y'all really have my girl Oprah fucked up. Oprah, yes, the Oprah was trending um, on Twitter because of some rumors that were circulating on social media that she had been arrested for sex trafficking. And there were some other celebrities' names that were also thrown into the mix as well. Were y'all really this dumb? You know what I mean? Like, conspiracy theories are actually really harmful. They're really hurtful um, to society. People will do wild shit behind conspiracy theories. Also, y'all weren't really dumb enough to believe that Oprah the Winfrey was out here selling bitches. Like, come on now. First of all, none of y'all recognize that this girl's Oprah? Like, so y'all just gonna go to the, to the sex trafficking PTA meeting? Does she have a disguise on? Like a fake eyebrow piercing and some, some, some chancletas and y'all thought like, oh yeah, she one of us. Like, no. There's a group called QAnon, a number of individuals operating individually online who espouse outrageous conspiracy theories that they post on every single social media platform. They're, this is an organized group and they do this often and honestly, this is actually kind of sad. And I know that we're all quarantined. I know I know y'all bored, but this ain't it. Crochet a beanie, um, make a quiche, plant some carrots. I don't know, just don't be lying on black women. Yeah, that was dumb. You know what else was dumb? Gal got it. Gal Gadot. Gal got it. I don't know. I never saw Superwoman or Wonder Woman. Uh, made a celebrity filled Imagine cover with all of her celebrity friends. And they sang a song in compilation video format for the rest of us poor brokies to watch from our quarantine homes as we ate our food stamp applesauce. So... I think that this was good intentioned and also tone deaf 
no pun intended. I think it was something that was supposed to lift morale. It was very like kindergartner teacher method of trying to make people feel better. I feel like most people didn't know what the song was. I mean, I know that John Lennon is a big deal. I know that he was in the Beatles. I also know that he got clout off of his interracial relationship, but that's about it. I don't know this song. Maybe if y'all would have picked something from like, like Luther Vandross. But anyway, I don't know how I'm supposed to feed myself with a weak ass A flat. At the end of the day, all y'all are rich and y'all are quarantined and there are people making your meals. There are people, uh, and even if there are people not making your meals, you're fully stocked, like you're good. It was a very privileged thing to do, uh, to sing from your mansions, to sing in front of your roaring fireplaces, to sing in the garage next to your Lambos because the acoustics were good. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it just, just missed the mark completely. I do think that it was good intention I do think that it came from a good place. It's just, we're broke. A lot of people are struggling right now. And, and sometimes it's like, celebrities are so far removed from just a, a lesser way of living that it's almost like you just forget completely. Um, and so it's really great when celebrities like Rihanna, she's donating like five million just just to help out. Like there's random people who aren't even to this at that don't even have the status that y'all have that are just sending money to people's Venmos. I wish I could do the same. Like if you want to do this together, let's really do this together. I'll pay half the Verizon bill and you pay half the Navian. Cause that's a togetherness that we need. Also, this means nothing, but um, I also feel like this is when this was an opportunity for y'all to Pam. And when I say that, I mean if you watch Mar if you watch Martin, then you know that Pam took every opportunity that she could to outsing someone on that damn show. I just came over to say hello to my girlfriend Gina. How about I call her? <laughs> Gina! didn't think that I would have to um, cuss anybody out. I really didn't want to do that. I really thought that Virginia, that y'all were going to just continue to be a state that for the most part stayed out of the news for dumb shit. But no, my, my home has disappointed me. In Virginia, there have been teenagers that are getting caught coughing on fresh produce at grocery stores for fun. It's things like this that make me think, you know what? I'm glad I was whooped as a child. I mean, I haven't seen any photos. And I think that's intentional, but I haven't seen any photos. I haven't seen any names of these teenagers, but just something tells me that they have oily scalps and not the kind of oily scalps that are good. If you catch what I'm saying, something tells me that y'all leave the house with your hair wet. Something tells me that, um, y'all wear flip-flops in in january this is so gross and irresponsible and disturbing on so many levels because how is this fun because i remember doing gross shit when i was younger in the name of fun actually no i don't remember doing gross shit the only the, i think the grossest thing i probably did was like wet willies teenagers are awful the lengths that y'all uninteresting untalented unmotivated uncouth germy gross little fucking twerps the lengths that y'all go for we for retweets I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. One of my worst ideas, one of my worst jokes is still more inventive than this. 
Like, this is what I mean when I say, like, I just want people to just find, find your talent and really hone in on that shit. Like, whatever your skill is, whatever the thing is that you want to bring to the table, please figure that out. Because this is not the way. This is so gross and this is so not at all what we need right now. I'm not saying that y'all deserve to die or nothing. Um, you deserve to go to sleep at night and not be able to breathe through both your nostrils. You deserve a paper cut in the most inconvenient place. You deserve a pimple on your butt. You deserve a stiff neck for when you sleep on your pillow the wrong way. I hope your quarantine snacks go bad. And maybe you don't deserve to go to hell, but you definitely deserve to visit. All right, y'all. That's my say what Sunday. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't yell too much at you. I hope my shirt didn't yell too much at you. This is just the times that we're in. Uh, bitch, this is the purge. This is Resident Evil. This is the end of days. I'm about to go looting at fucking um, the sex shop. <laughs> Get the straps and all the lubes while you can, girl. Um, I'm about to go looting at a beauty supply because one, if, if I die young, I will not die with dry hair. See what I tell you? I'm not. I'm not concerned with the right things. I'm up here worrying about my fucking curl pattern, girl. I ain't be worrying about these patterns and my chromosomes, my immune system. That may be weak. I'm just talking, y'all. Maybe my immune system's fine. My immune system's probably fine. I'm just convinced that it's not because I have weak uh, wrists. But um, I gotta go, man. It's hot in this car. I'm wearing sweats. This shirt, I feel like, is basically the second sun. So I gotta go. I gotta get inside. And uh, I hope that y'all stay inside. We've got merch. My Patreon is up. Support your girl during these hard times. I'm gonna try and support y'all the best I can. Creating content for us all to just take a minute to just forget about life um but anyways hope y'all are good i hope that you are staying healthy and safe in your homes and i will see you guys in another video very soon bye girl